Good morning, friends. Wishing you a very bright, blessed and an amazing Sunday and a great week ahead. Friends, self-image, that is what I want to talk to you today, especially seeing all the things that are going around and what people are experiencing. It is very, very important to take note about what you think about yourself. Do you think what other people tell you? Do you think what experiences tell you? Or do you think or do you meditate on what the word of God tells who you are? It is very, very important to maintain a right self-image, to download and experience the best from God. Look what the Bible says. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 19. Look what it says. The earth is groaning for the manifestation of the sons of God. Friend, you are a son of God. You are a child and a daughter of God. Never, never, ever forget that. Don't look at yourself as a slave, as a servant, as a nobody, hey, a good for nothing. No, 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 no. That kind of self-image can never make you move ahead in life. Yes, you are the son of God. Hallelujah. The earth is groaning for the manifestation of the sons of God. Distorted self-image makes people to walk a defeated life. Distorted self-image makes people to walk a distorted life. Let me read to you very quickly from Judges chapter 6, life of Gideon. Look how he looked at himself. Look how God was looking at him. Okay, here it says in uh, uh, Judges chapter 6, Verse 11, now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the turban tree, which was in, in Ophrah, which belonged to Joash, the Abizraelite, uh, while his son Gideon threshed wheat in the winepress in order to hide it from the Midianites. And look what it says. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, the Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. Look how Gideon looked at himself. Gideon looked at himself as a fearful person, as a nobody. He was threshing wheat in the wine press, right? He was hiding it from the Midianites. But here God sends his angel and look at the salutation that the angel gives. The angel says, hey Gideon, you mighty man of valor. Friend, that is how God looks at you. He looks at you as his son. He has purchased you with his precious blood. Hallelujah. He has your name engraved on the palm of his hand. He has great plans for you. Glory be to God. God created you to be a ruler. Let's go to Genesis chapter 1 very quickly. Genesis chapter 1. God created you to be a ruler, to dominate, to take dominion. Look what it says. Genesis chapter 1, and I'm reading verses 26. Then God said, let us make man in our own image. Hey, 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 hey. You and I are created in the image and likeness of our Abba Father. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Image and likeness. Let us make man in our own image. And look what it says. According to our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, birds of the air and so on and so forth. And then it says in verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female. He created them. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Friend, you are created. God created you to be a ruler. When he created man, he said, take dominion. Come on, dominate our situations and circumstances. Are you going through a tough time in life? I'm also talking to the pastors. If you're in full-time ministry, I'm talking to you as a businessman, as a believer in the church, as an elder in the church. Are you going through some tough times in life? Is, is, is your salary being cut into half? I don't know what. Uh, uh, pastors, may, maybe the Sunday, it's Sunday, right? We all pastors like to minister, but now you're finding it so difficult. Don't worry. God is in control. In God's mind, you are a ruler. Amen. And you are supposed to take dominion and dominate. Come on, friends. Come on, friends. Let that get into your mind today. Let that get into your spirit today. God has made you a king because he is the king of kings. Hallelujah. God has made you his son. He has purchased you authority and responsibility to bring under subjection 
and rulership of every work of the devil. Amen. You come against this foul, filthy virus. Don't allow it to come into your home. If you're already affected, confess the word of God and drive it out of your body. Don't succumb to negative reports. Don't succumb to what the world is screaming at you. Don't succumb to all the bad news. Come on, rise up and stand up. You are a champion. That's what the word of God says. You are more than a conqueror. You are an overcomer. Friend, what self-image do you have about yourself determines where you will go in life. Glory be to God. God. Many times we have a victim mentality and that is so sad. There are lots of thousands and thousands of people in the church that have a victim mentality. Hey, poor me. Look at me. Who am I? Who is my father? Where is my family? What do I have? No friends. He that is in you, glory be to God, is greater than he that is in the world. Christ in you is the hope of glory. Hey, you can never rule with a slave mindset. It was very difficult for the children of Israel to move into the promised land. Why? Because they were always thinking of Egypt. Let us go back to Egypt. There are, there, there are, there, there are cabbages there. There are vegetables over there. There was meat over there. They're always looking back. Friend, you can never proceed ahead in life by looking back. Look in the front. You got a great future. You got a great destiny. God has a great plan for you. Yes, Jeremiah chapter 29, 11. Plans to give you a future and a hope. Plans to prosper you. Hallelujah. God is our creator. And he has made us in his own image. He has made us in his own image. Come on, you declare that I am made in the image and likeness of God. You are not a beggar. You are royalty. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You are not a beggar. You are a royalty. You live not at the mercy of man, but by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Let me say this to you once again as I close. You do not live at the mercy of situations and circumstances, at the mercy of man, at the decision sorry, made by somebody else. You don't live at the mercy of man. You live by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Today, today, rise up, stand up. At the end of, 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 of Gideon's, Gideon's life, we see that this man who was fearful in that uh, um, uh, uh, threshing wheat in the wine press stood up and he fought with the Midianites with 300 people. Friend, if you have a right self-image, God can do the impossible through you. Champion, overcomer, child of God, let me tell you, God has a great plan for your life. Stand up, rise up, and receive and possess everything God has in store for you. Have a right self-image. God bless you. Have a great and awesome week ahead. I pray things are blooming in your life this week. Amen. I could see that picture when I woke up this morning. Things are blooming. Flowers are blooming. Hey, things are going to, going to break forth in your life. And I'm saying this is going to be one of the best weeks so far. God bless you. Amen.